Okay, in the previous lecture we had some practice with CSS selectors. Now in this lecture I'm going to show you a new way to select elements and that is with XPath. If you do not know anything about XPath, don't worry about it. You just need to know a few of uh, the selectors uh, and the others. You, whenever you need them, you can search for them in the internet. So now let's go ahead and uh, open our new um, example here, which is the checkbox form example. So here we're going to create a new folder in our VS Code uh, project here. And let's call it 03 checkbox uh, form. So, here inside of it, let's uh, create our new index.js uh, file and copy all the configuration uh, here that we have. And let's select, uh, uh, let's create a new async function. Uh, with the name checkbox form that has no parameters and always remember to try catch everything as we are in an async await function. So now in the try, let's go ahead and define our uh, browser destination. So let's await our driver to get our destination. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in our browser and see which is the URL for our test and copy it and paste it here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what we have here. Let's inspect our elements. The name is required, the comment is optional, however we are going to do it and we would need to select a reservation and a bedroom in order to complete uh, this example. So now let's uh, see what we have. We have a name with uh, the input with an ID name and our comment must have the ID of comment and we're going to select the presidential suit here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it we would have the value, this is what we would need for our uh, expat selector now. So let me show you how we can select our input here for the presidential suit. So press Ctrl F and this will open our search for uh, string selectors and expat. Now whenever you're uh, trying to uh, search by expat, you must start with a double forward slash like that. And after that, you would need to provide the type of the tag that you are searching for. So mine is going to be an input. Uh, let me find it again. An input, which is going to have a value to be equal to um, presidential suit. Let me copy this and paste it here. Okay, so we have selected our radio button with the value of presidential suit. So now we would want to select the span after it. If we try to click the input, which is hidden basically, and it's behind uh, our uh, presidential suit here, it's going to throw an error that uh, the Selenium brow browser cannot uh, find that element and we're not going to complete our task basically. So now, in order to select our span here, we're going to need the following element, which is going to be selected by typing forward slash following and two columns. And we would want to select the span. As you can see, we have selected our span here, so we're ready to copy this. So inside of our project here, let's first give our name by finding the element by expat. So now I'm going to show you how we can first um, select our name here by expat. We're going to provide forward slashes an input with the ID 
So remember, uh, whenever you're using Kexpad here and you're providing uh, variables with uh, the semicolons, you would need uh, double quotes like that. And inside the ID, you would need uh, to provide the name of the ID. So basically name. And here we're going to send keys of my name, for example. So basically we're uh, selecting the input with the ID of name. After that, we're going to give our comment, which is optional, but if you want to do it, you can do it like that, bit expat. So now remember double quotes, forward slash, an input with the attribute ID to be equal to comment. And we're going to send our keys that going to send my funny comment, for example. And now we're in for the reservation here that we have selected our presidential suit. So copy your um, expat selector that we have created. And let's await our driver to find the element by expat double quotes. And we're going to click on that element. Okay, so now let's take a look how we can select our uh, breakfast and our lunch checkboxes here with uh, expat. So as you can see, let's right click and inspect that and find the NB checkbox here. As you can see, we have the element of NB checkbox that has the value of breakfast and we would want to select that. So go ahead and in your search uh, for expat type forward slash forward slash nb dash check box that would have the value to be equal to breakfast and this selecting our um, nb check box however we would want to go and click on the span here so in order to click that let's see what uh, elements we have before that we have a label and inside the label we have an input and a span and another span. So we would want to go inside and get the so forward slash type label and this will select the label for us and we would want to select the span inside it. So type span and this will select the first span for that. So we're ready with our NB checkbox uh, selected by value and go ahead in your uh, Visual Studio code and type await driver find element by expat and double quotes would want to click on that and let's copy this you can uh, press uh, Alt, Shift and uh, down arrow to copy the previous uh, uh, row. And we would want to change this to, let's see the value here, in the NB checkbox launch. So change that to launch and let's press the submit button. Find element by expat double quotes and here we would want to find our button with the id that is equal to submit okay so don't forget to console lock if you have any errors and at the end don't forget to call the function and now let's go ahead and move to our new folder go to back one folder and go inside the checkbox form folder and type note 
index and let's see what happens. As you can see, we have filled our name and our comment. However, we did not click on the button as I didn't see the toaster. So let's go ahead and see what's happening. We forgot to click on it. So let's go ahead and type click here and run that again. As you can see, we have successfully passed our checkbo checkbox form example. So see you in the next lecture.